girls welcome back to diva doll flawless in today's video i'm sharing the process that i did to alter this mini recycling bin that i purchased from the dollar tree the colors that i opted for for this project are merlot ballet slipper and ivory all three of these are chalk paints from waverly and i purchased them from walmart I did want a different color, so Ballet Slipper and Merlot were mixed with a 2 to 1 ratio so that I could get the mauve tone that you will see I used for my little project. I love how this ended up turning out. So this is what I did. Went ahead and painted that with two coats and I did use my heat gun in between each coat just to dry up the speed and time just a touch so that I could get that second coat on there and then with the ivory chalk paint I did go ahead and paint the wheels of this little recycling bin and they were easy to pop off and paint now because this does dry pretty fast you don't really have to worry about painting one side waiting for so long for the other you know I did get this painted in a very good time and then after it dried, I popped the wheels back on it, but I did allow this to dry overnight just to make sure everything was fully cured before I decided to hot glue any of my elements of choice onto this project. Here I'm showing you the stickers that I used. These were from a local discount store. It's not like a chain store or anything like that. It's literally just a discount store that sells a little bit of everything. I took one of those little baby girl shower theme stickers, popped the sentiment off, and I used the frame as the backing for my paper flower that I hot glued onto the frame. And then I did put a pop dot and then hot glued the frame and the flower down onto the little recycling bin. And then after that, I just played around with some more fabric flowers and pearls and once i was satisfied with how everything looked i just hot glued it into place and i absolutely love this so much i love working with chalk paint it dries so fast and i do like the texture that it tends to leave on your projects now for the top of the recycling bin i wanted to do something that was different but yet the same so i used the same flower at the top and i first laid down a heart lace applique and then put the flower down and then put another mini fabric flower with a pearl so it's the same but different and then after that i took these little heart stickers and applied those to the wheels i did make sure anything that i put on this i hot glued it down and then because hearts and flowers are my absolute favorite like shapes <laughs> i did have to use this heart trim that i have this was purchased from a um, party supply store. So again, a lot of the stuff that I have is not really big name or chain stores. It's just random stores I come across when I'm out and about. Then we have these rub on transfers and this is the crafter square brand from Dollar Tree. And these are a absolute steal. If you find them, definitely grab them because you can use them on so many different projects. All you simply do is just cut around whichever one you want to use and then lay it down on your project rub it with a good amount of pressure with your the tip of your fingernail and then peel the backing off like you saw me do here and that's it so what i did was just looked at the different transfers and decided where i wanted them to show up on the mini recycling bin and after that i was completely done so i love this so much i did post this on my Instagram and someone had commented that they're always looking for them. So I will say with Dollar Tree, unfortunately, we all know the inventory changes, but if it's something you really wanted to do, you could definitely check Amazon Prime. There are so many different places that I'm sure you could find these little mini recycling bins and you might even be able to get more for your buck depending on, you know, where you find them at. So I love this so much. It matches my office perfectly. The color scheme is one of my absolute favorites. So I like the mauve with the golds and ivories and whites and pearls and definitely 
need that little splash of emerald green from the leaves on the fabric flowers but I love this little teeny tiny shabby chic and I'm using this as a scrap bin on top of my desk when I'm crafting and funny enough I did need this while I was using it just to throw away like my little backings from my pop dots and such but you know, that's fine. So you can just put a little teeny tiny trash bag in here if you wanted to. Maybe a little Ziploc bag or something like that and then dump it out as needed. I, if I knew that my real life recycling bin wouldn't get damaged, <laughs> I would definitely do this. Because y'all know I'm extra, but I'm not going to. So I will go ahead and be satisfied with my little tabletop recycling bin. So I hope you all got some inspiration from this. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, doll. Smooches. Mwah. Bye.